Hola, SAP developers. In this quick SAP Tech Bytes, we will see the end-to-end -end process to configure uh, communication between an, an SAP S4 HANA Cloud to Advanced Event Mesh. We will go step by step. We will upload our certificates, create communication arrangements, create a communication system, and even actually sending events from uh, SAP S4 HANA Cloud. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so uh, we are here uh, looking at how we can configure advanced event mesh uh, and get that communication going basically between S4 HANA Cloud and advanced event mesh. So as you can see here, these are the instructions on how to enable this. Um, we basically need to upload some certificates and create some communication arrangements in, um, in S4 HANA Cloud. There's lots of steps involved, so hence why I'm creating this video so that it's easy for you to see how to basically do the entire process. Okay, uh, now there are these instructions here which are part of the S4 HANA Cloud documentation. I also noticed that there's another set of uh, uh, documentation where you can find this and this is uh, connecting with Advanced Event Mesh, but this is part of a build process automation. I do like this a bit better just because it's uh, it does tell you uh, details on root certificates and how to import this uh, cloud certificate, cl uh, the S4 HANA Cloud uh, client certificate. So I'm just going to use this as a reference. But you know what? Let's uh, basically get started. So the first thing that we need to do is basically get the SAP S4 HANA Cloud uh, client certificate. For that, we need to go to S4 HANA Cloud and then here uh, we can just search for certificates and here maintain client certificates um, and we need to download this default uh, client certificate so I'm going to go ahead and just download this make sure that is the PEM format so export this it has downloaded it for me perfect uh, notice this name as well we will need it so I'm just going to copy this because we're going to create a client username in um, in advanced event mesh for that uh, using that name so uh, let's go ahead and now we are going to import this in, in Advanced Event Mesh. So this is my Advanced Event Mesh uh, instance. Uh, I have several brokers here, but in this case, I'm just going to uh, connect that S4 HANA Cloud system to this uh, particular um, broker, okay? So for that, we need to make sure that the authentication, uh, we have client certificate authentication enabled. That's important because uh, that's what will enable that communication, the authentication between S4 HANA Cloud and Advanced Event Mesh. And apart from that, we need to import some uh, certificates. So here in Certificate Authorities, let's go ahead and add a couple of client certificates. So one will be the one that we just downloaded, okay? So uh, this, uh, this pen file that we just downloaded, uh, we need to download, um, input it here. Uh, I'm going to name it this, uh, yeah, just, that will work, save that. Uh, apart from that, uh, we need to also upload the root certificate. And to upload that root certificate, we first obviously need to download it. And we can download it just from the website information from your S4 HANA Cloud, right? So in this case, I'm going to view certificate here. And this global root certificate is the one that we need. In this case, I can download it from here. You can see it has downloaded that. And I'm just going to go ahead again to uh, advanced event mesh and import it as well. So I'm going to upload that. Uh, you could just name it uh, set global uh, set, for example. Uh, save that. Cool. That's good to go. So we uh, created this too. Apart from that, we need to create a client username uh, in uh, in the broker. Um, and for that, I go to my broker manager. And in my broker manager, I need to go to the access control. In access control, I can see the client username is here. And here I need to define my client username. That's why I copy and pasted that because we're going to need it. So if I'm not wrong, it should be this. Okay, so create that. And in this case, I also, oops. Okay, um, I need to re redo my authentication. Uh, let's try again. Okay, access control, client usernames. Yeah, let's create it again. Uh, create that. Yeah, and something that we need to ensure is to enable this. So let's enable it. Um, and apart from that, we need to also check that the default 
user is also uh, enabled. That's important. So make sure that those two are enabled, and that's that's it. That's that's all that we need for now uh, on the advanced event mesh side. So let's go ahead with uh, continue with our instructions. So we've imported the cloud client certificate, also the root certificate authority. We've also created and enabled the client username of the certificate that we imported, right? So that's good. Now we can go ahead and proceed with uh, creating the communication arrangements. Okay, so let's go to S4HANA Cloud. And in this case, before creating the communication arrangement, I know that I need to create a communication system. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a communication system first. Okay, uh, in this case, uh, I need to create one for my, uh, I'm just going to name it uh, US East Broker, so that we know that we're connected to that. Okay, uh, my host name, uh, yeah, so this is uh, important. Uh, we need to use the host name that we get from the AMQP details here. So you can see here, uh, I'm just going to copy this. The port needs to be that 5671 as well. So let's go to communication systems, uh, 5671 we said, um, that should be fine. Um, standard, we can leave that there. Uh, we need to create a, um, a user for app on communication as well. So in this case, uh, we need to tell it like, yeah, you just use client of the, uh, certificate, uh, the client default will do, uh, and then we just create this. Yeah, that should be good. Um, and we save that. Perfect. We got our communication system now uh, ready. So we can go ahead and basically configure our communication arrangement now. Uh, communication arrangement. So we're going to start uh, with the communication arrangement uh, for the advanced event mesh integration scenario. Okay. Uh, so in that case, we go hit here new. The scenario is uh, scenario 0492. Okay. Select that. We need to name it something. So just going to name it uh, AEM, um, same, uh, yes, it's broker. Uh, cool. Here we select our communication system, the one that we just created, right? So uh, it's it here, yep, yes, it's broker. Uh, yep, perfect. Uh, now, channel. Uh, so remember this value because with this value, we're going to configure it as well where we need to create a communication arrangement for the validation uh, process. In this case, which I'm just going to name it as 4 hc that, that should be fine. Uh, the topic space. Uh, we have some recommendations here on what the topic space should be. So if we look at the communication arrangement for advanced event mesh, it should tell us here, for example, what, what it expects for the for the topic space, okay? Um, in my case, I'm just going to name it uh, default SAP S4 HANA Cloud Events. So I have the value here, so I'm just copying that value and I'm going to paste it there. Uh, yeah, that should, that should do for me. Now, the quality of service, a little bit to one, number of published connections. So in this case, if you want to parallelize, for example, the connections, you can set um, more than one. Uh, by default, it's one. Uh, the maximum is 10, I think. So I'm just going to set it to two, for example. Um, yeah, we, we already set this, uh, the outbound communication, which is fine. Uh, inbound communication, I need to set something, it looks like. Um, Let's see. Yeah, this this should be fine. So this fifty six seventy one, and although this looks like it's using HTTPS, um, in reality it will not be using HTTPS. Uh, it will be using the AMQP uh, protocol. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit misleading there. So let's go ahead and save this. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't define my inbound communication user. Uh, not that I, not that I need it right now, but. Um, Let's just create one. Sorry, I'm, yeah. I need to go back to my system and configure one. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so here, edit. Uses for inbound. I'm just going to, yeah, whatever. Uh, 
no, I don't have one, so I'm just going to create new user. password doesn't really matter I can I don't really need that password I don't really need this user so whatever it is I'm just going to create that yeah uh, okay perfect I'm going to save this and I'll be able to select this uh, user um, in the communication arrangement so let's go back to my communication arrangement now uh, okay Yeah, I have it in draft here. Uh, yeah, just select that. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, say this. And we're good. We're good here with uh, with uh, with this uh, 0492. Now the instructions tells me to now create another one uh, for the validation service integration. And for that, I need to uh, basically, uh, yeah, go back to my uh, communication arrangements uh, and create a new one. Uh, the scenario is uh, 0493. And you can see here that it actually tells me a service key. So I need to create a service key in BTP. But before that, I will set the um, uh, channel, which was S4HC. This string needs to be exactly the same as you set it up before. Uh, here, I'm just going to name it AM um, is East uh, Validation. Yeah, but then I need a service key. So let's go ahead to BTP. I need to create a service instance. In this case, I need to select the Advanced Event Mesh. Yep, Advanced Event Mesh. And you can see that there's a plan that's called Validation, and that's what I need here. So I am on validation. Uh, next, I don't need to specify anything else, just that. And now we'll end up uh, creating a service key for it. Okay, create service key. Yeah, same I validation, SK. That should be fine. And then this will give me um, a JSON file that I can then copy and paste uh, on the other side. Yeah, it's just a, the whole validation here. I'm just going to copy that. And then in the communication arrangement, I just paste it and go ahead and create it. Cool. So creation was successful, which means that it was uh, able to validate uh, the connection, which is great. So for example, if we go back to our previous uh, communication arrangement, so 0492, and click this uh, check connection button, it should work. We will see a successful message here. Excellent, channel is active. Meaning that now S4 HANA Cloud is able to communicate with advanced event mesh. But let's go to event enablement and, and test it out. Uh, so here, uh, communication channel binding. Let's see here. Here is where we will end up configuring, for example, our, the topics that we want to send across, right? The events that we want to send across. Um, so here, let's do create. Uh, and let's say that we want to send across um, contains business partner. Uh, let's see, okay, go. Yeah, maybe we want to send all business partner events, for example, just to keep it simple, we'll do that. Uh, cool, so we configured that topic. But before that, we can actually do uh, a test, send a test message, okay? And I'll, I'll show you how that you can do that. So here, uh, again, in the event enablement, but go to event monitor. Um, you can see here S4 HANA Cloud. This is what we configured before, right? We can produce a test event, okay? So produce test event. But before that, 
before we produce a test event, uh, let's go ahead and subscribe to something here. So uh, we can use the, the try me option here. Let's just connect here and here. Um, we define uh, the topic, right, when we were creating the communication arrangement for the for the 0492 integration scenario. So let's just use the same bit here. So uh, let's copy the topic. And you know that in advanced event mesh, you can end up setting uh, wildcards. So in this case, I'm basically subscribing to anything that comes under this, okay? So let's subscribe to that. And if we trigger the event here, if we produce a test event, let's produce it. You see here how it basically tells me default SAP S4 HANA Cloud events, and then that's the test producer. So that's what's going to be uh, sent to, um, oops, to uh, advanced event mesh. And if we go back here, we can see that our test event is there. You see, we've captured that, we've subscribed to that, so we we receive that. So let's go ahead and just um, do the same, but for a business partner. Business partner. Uh, yeah, maintain business partner. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's find a business partner by name, maybe. I previously created one. So let's see if I find it. Uh, okay, Antonio, that, that's not me. <laughs> uh, but uh, this, this will do. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's enter this business partner. Oops. Yeah, uh, and we can let's say that we assign a country or region so that we trigger, for example, um, an update. So switch between display and here I'm just going to select the region. I can, well, I don't need this. I can just go ahead and enter Spain. Cool, save that. And now this should have triggered a business partner change event. Okay. So if we go back to advanced event mesh, we can see that business partner event there, that change. We received it here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and create one. Menu, business partner, create person. Yeah, whatever. So just Antonio Mariaga. Yeah, that will do. Um, let's just save it like this. And this should trigger a create event now and in advanced event mesh we can see now here our create event perfect so we managed to actually get um, S400 Cloud communicating with advanced event mesh quite simple isn't it we did quite a few things in this SAP Tech Bytes uh, we downloaded the S400 Cloud uh, client certificate we also downloaded the root certificate uh, for that instance. Uh, we then proceeded to create a client username in Advanced Event Mesh. Then we created a communication system in S4HANA Cloud. We configure a couple of uh, communication arrangements also in S4HANA Cloud. Uh, and then we even configure the enablement of events uh, in, our, in, in our S4HANA Cloud instance. We saw those events flowing all the way to Advanced Event Mesh. Uh, we created and updated our objects in s Cloud. Basically, we were able to see the whole end-to-end -end flow on how to enable this, um, this connection between these two systems. Uh, so I hope you find this useful and that um, you use it as a reference whenever you're configuring your s Cloud system uh, communication with Advanced Event Mesh.